Alright, hello everybody, Raw Lucario here, and it is a new season, and on top of that, a new chapter. Chapter 4 is here, gamers, and with that must come a new Battle Pass video. So, I'm a little excited for this Battle Pass, don't like this background because it spoils everything that's going to be in it, that's... Oh, wait, no, this is a loading screen. Okay. <laughs> I am dumb. Oh, no, they swapped it back to this. Oh, I hate this. I don't like this. Oh. I don't know why everybody hated the the choose-your-own thing. I thought that was nice, but now I'm just going to have to get everything in a designated order. Okay. Fine. That's fine. All right, we're just going to go through these, skip all the boring stuff. Let's go. All right, V-Box banner. All right, uh, wrap. This one's kind of nice. I like this one. New emote. This is... I, 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 I hate life. Um, Lunar Glow. Uh, this is decent. Um, I like something a little better. Uh, but here we go. Celine. You know what? I don't mind this. I, I It's fine. Uh, I think it's a little underwhelming for a Battle Pass skin, but I mean, uh, a lot of them usually are. There's some cool details here, though. I like the prismatic thing on her hips. That's nice. Oh, she has animations. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, loading screen. Ooh, that's a cool contrail. I can mess with that. What is this? Oh, this is the glider that's like the, um, with the Hawkeye animation where it leans on the side. Okay, that's nice. Uh, back bling. Spray, nobody cares. Okay, see, now this is more what I would expect. This actually looks, like, unique and interesting. Um, Moonglow Selene, huh? Yeah, I mean, not terrible. I, 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 you know, I don't know if I'll necessarily use it, but I could see a lot of people using this. It's very detailed. I, I like it. All right, then we got loading screen for this uh, person called Masai. Okay. Don't care. A uh, wrap that I, I don't really like that wrap all that much. I, I also don't like how there's like that little end that doesn't have a wrap part. Um, what the heck? Is this a pickaxe? Oh, it's a skateboard. You know, honestly, I don't mind it. I, I, I mean, I think it's a little stupid, but you know, I, I, it looks good. I could see it being useful. Then yeah, we got Masai. I, I, uh, okay, they're a little. Again, just not really a whole lot going on here. I mean, I, like, it just seems like the arms are over-detailed for no reason. I don't really like the skin, I'll be honest with you. Because it's like, if it's trying to be a simplistic skin, but it's failing miserably in the arms and the knees. I, I, I just, I, I think they should have gone with one and not tried to do both. It really doesn't work there. Uh, let's see, what have we got going on here? Uh, another loading screen, don't care about a grind bag. That's nice, I guess. Hang loose, or whatever. Flip flyer! Please tell me he is not the only one who can use that, because that would be so sick. That's actually a really cool idea. Balance board? Ha! Okay. Now, see, this is a good emo. I don't know what happened on that, uh... That first emote there with the icon series, that's just awful. And then it's just Masai, but different color and wearing a purge mask. You know, honestly, I think the mask does kind of tie it together a little more, but I still have the same problems with the skin that I did before. So I'm not... Whoa! Oh, oh okay. I I did not expect Doomslayer to just randomly be here in the battle... Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. All right, so you got a spray there, a mark of the slayer. That's a cool little back bling there. Um, that's a nice wrap. That would actually go really well with Master Chief as well. Oh, the Caco Demon Glider. Oh, that's cool, and it actually makes sense. Then here he is, the Doom Slayer. Oh, look at him. Yeah, okay, I cannot be mad at Doom Slayer being in the Battle Pass. I, I'm not the biggest Doom player, I'll be honest with you guys, but... Doom is probably one of the most influential gaming series of all time. He definitely deserves to be here. So many games would not exist without Doom. 
so many M-rated or so many first-person shooters just wouldn't be here without it. It was so innovative at the time, and it's still fun to go back to now. Keep these things in mind when we get to the other crossover skin that's in this battle pass. Also, I love that they put him in just randomly. I love that he wasn't like, oh, secret skin or oh, tier 100. It's nice that he's just in here. That's nice. Oh, there's more Doom stuff just instantly after. Okay. So we've got uh, Fall to their Doom. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool one. The Crucible Blade. Look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> This is sick, man. This is... J I love this. Um, only... You know, my friend was saying uh, to me the other day that he was hoping that we would have gotten the chainsaw instead. Um, and I get that. I think it would have been nice to have the chainsaw because it would have been a new animation and whatnot. But, I mean, come on. Look at this thing. This thing is just... Th this thing is beautiful. I love it so much. Cackle demon. Okay. Oh, what's the emote? That is the greatest emote Fortnite has ever put out, and if you say anything different, I forbid you from ever watching any of my videos ever again. The Astro Armor. Oh, I was hoping we'd get the Unicorn Armor from Doom Eternal. Um, I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's a nice little recolor, but yeah, I think it would have been better if you are going to do a White Armor to do the Unicorn one. Okay, let's move on. Uh, loading screen, baseball bat, um, double header, huh? I mean, sure. I I guess they're they're fine. I I I don't. Eh. I, I don't know. I I don't like. I don't know why it couldn't just been a normal baseball bat. Uh, Dusty, two-time brute ball MVP. I, I what what is this? I like like if you were going to have her be a baseball chick, why? Why is she dressed like this? There's like... The only thing about her that screams baseball is the shirt that's going on over her. The, 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 the theme doesn't carry throughout the rest of the skin. I, I mean, it doesn't necessarily look bad. It just... It's not really a great design, in my opinion. Um, I mean, this is a better coloration. I like the glow. Um, this is... Uh, uh, sure. Okay. Contrail, that's nice, but I mean, we have a lot of contrails that are like that color. Then, yeah, Boneyard Dusty. This, See, this it looks even less like what it, the skin is trying to be. I, I mean, it, it, it again, it's not that it looks bad, it's just it, it goes against everything that this, like, the rest of the stuff in the set would have you believe that the skin is meant to be. But, okay. Uh, Mind's Eye, okay, here's our regularly scheduled anime waifu character. Let's see what they look like. Uh, is that a glider? Okay, that. I don't know what the animation would be for that. I just assumed it was a back bling for some reason. That looks like it could be interesting. Fanged foresight. That's, I, I know that there's a pickaxe that looks exactly like that, but it's just not cell shaded. I, hmm, that looks very familiar to me. All right, Nazumi. Master your powers before me. You know, honestly, I don't mind it. I, I don't know what gender this character is, but honestly, a lot of times with Fortnite Battle Passes, it's just like, we're going to just throw a random, scandalously closed female anime character in here, and people are going to buy it. I can appreciate them doing an anime character that actually looks like they're from, like, anime. Like, this looks like this could be, like, a Naruto character. And I... I, I I like that, so I'm gonna give this one a pass. Oh, it looks like a mixture between Naruto and Dragon Ball with like the hair thing going on there. Um, so I can I can give that one a little bit of a pass. Uh, banner icon. Man, the controls all feel the same to me. What is this? Okay, that's gonna be very useful. I like that. That's that's a very useful emote for like creative and stuff. I can I can I, I can use that. Then we've got this. This is a cool coloration. I I like it. It's nice. It's fine. Alright, then we've got her. Did you really add a Visco girl into the battle pass? 
Please tell me you didn't add a Visco girl into this battle. Don't, don't do it to me, Epic. I will rate this battle pass a one. I will do. Oh my goodness, you did it. Oh my goodness, you did it. <sighs> I, I have no words. I, I just, I have no words. I, I have, I have no words. What, I, what, I have no words. I, I, there, there's nothing I can say. There, there, there's there's nothing to say this is what what more can i why why do you, why do you encourage this culture why do you do this what, what why why do you do this i mean i'm not saying anybody who drinks boba tea is a visco girl but it's like you have a visco girl with the with the boba tea it's like oh my goodness epic please why do you do this to me you couldn't have just added this. Th this would have been fine. This would have been fine. All of this would have been fine had it not been paired with this. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to move on. Pretend I didn't see it. Uh, okay, this is the story guy. Uh, this is the story skin. So we got Geno here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's I skip this rap almost by accident. Alright. What? Okay, so he's called the Ageless. Um, so, the snapshot left... Okay, so this is a snapshot of Geno, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's not exactly Geno himself. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's see. Oh my goodness, we finally have it! We finally have another glider that's using the Queen's animation. And wouldn't you know it, it looks like anybody can use it. It's not just Geno. Thank you, Epic. Thank you. Alright, what is the... Oh. <laughs> That's a cool sword. That's a cool sword. I like that. Let's see. Okay, the, he just looks like something out of Destiny. And that is not an insult. The Ageless Champion. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's actually really cool. Let's see. What's the other thing? It says there's another thing, and it's... Oh, okay. I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Hold on. Wait, what? You just have to reach level 94... Wait. Reach level 94? Is this, like, tier 100, but you just have to, like reach level 94 oh that's weird it's because they still that they still have the battle star system which oh okay i don't know that doesn't make sense to me all right let's see the bonus rewards i'm interested okay sure all right flip flyer all right this is a cool coloration i like this one not bad, but it's still reskin, and here she is. You know, I don't... Okay, with the vest at least, but... Oh, dude, I just... I still don't care for this skin too much. With what she's trying to represent here with all the boba stuff. I just... And the... Just her general. I, I don't care for it. This is cool. Oh. Okay, I don't... That's... That's nice. Um... Okay, now she has a mask on. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, that. It looks like we got another style for the Doom Slayer. Let's see this. The Phobos armor. Um, again, I would have liked the po I would have liked the pony. I, I I'm just saying, I would have liked it. Okay, then we got the those styles. Now, where is what what mid season drops? What Thrasher missile? Then we got a an ember armor. My guy, you changed his skin color black. Uh, you that that that's not nice. Um, all right. I mean, these are fine. I don't know why these are just randomly coming throughout the middle of the season. Okay. Now remember what I said to keep in mind here about everything I said about Doom? Yeah. So, we've got Geralt 
of, Riv of Rivia from The Witcher 3. Now look, I'm not saying The Witcher is a bad game, far from it. It's a good game. A lot of people love The, the Witcher. But here's my thing, right? In the trailer for this game, you show Doomslayer, who's a good pick, Geralt, then you also show Mr. Beast, the Incredible Hulk, and a person who people are speculating is a boss from Metal Gear. I don't buy that, but still. I would argue that any one of those characters would have been a better pick for the Battle Pass. Yes, even Mr. Beast, and I'm going to tell you why. The Witcher is not a series in which it is influential to the entirety of gaming or influential to really anything. It's a good game. It's a well-loved game, but it's not very influential in terms of really anything. Whereas you've got people like the Incredible Hulk completely changed the way a lot of heroes were written at the time was one of them, one of the darker heroes to ever come out because it was like a hero who didn't really want to be a hero and is one of the most popular characters in all of Marvel. Uh, excuse me. And then Mr. Beast, the most subbed channel on all of YouTube, or at least the most subbed individual on all of YouTube. There are only three other channels that have more subs than him. And look, I get it. Mr. Beast isn't like a... He's not really a property, he's just a real-life person, but I just think that he was... I think that Gerald was a bad choice for the Battle Pass. I think he should have been an item shop skin, honestly. I mean, his stuff is cool, like, he's got a cool little sword, he's got a nice back bling. His spray is okay, and then you've got this, I... Like, see, this is cool. I like this. And then you've got other things that are coming in 86 days. This is going to be a long season, isn't it? Like, and he's he's got a cool look to him. But I just think out of all the collabs that they teased, he was probably just the worst choice for the Battle Pass. I feel like the Battle Pass should be stuff that, like, a lot of people... It, like, it should be applicable to a lot of people. Like, for example, the Doom Slayer. Again, one of the most influential gaming series of all time. It makes sense for him to be there. I just think if you were going to get, like, the Incredible Hulk and tease him in the release trailer, he should have been the one who's in here. I mean, Mr. Beast, probably not, but I think I would have been happier with Mr. Beast being in here than Geralt. Um, I, I don't know, Geralt just seems like the worst choice for an icon skin to me, personally, for the Battle Pass. If he were in the item shop, I would be perfectly happy with that. I Like, I think he's a good skin, he's well-designed, he's a nice character, I just don't know if he was necessarily the best choice. But I do believe that is everything. Uh, I can take you guys... Ooh, well, we've also got a new pack in the shop. That's cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I believe that's everything. So if you guys did enjoy this little video here, I hope that you guys did. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.